<laughs> yeah, I started. Welcome, my <laughs> Um, So today what I wanted to talk about is uh, the proper use of a, a, a shrinker and a, stre a stretcher. A stretcher? <laughs> uh, you got a Harbor Freight stretcher and this is also a Harbor Freight shrinker. Um, this one is stretcher actually. This is the stretcher, this is the shrinker. But one of the things is, is you can, uh, you can make a quick flange and I'll show you a quick tick tip how to do a quick flange just with a simple hammer and a vise and uh, a shrinker or a stretcher. <clears throat> and this is super fast. A lot of times you want to use a flange like around the hood of a car. Like if, uh, if you wanted to use a flange like right here and it has different shapes and it comes up and down and around and whatever, you want that shape to follow around. It's easy enough to take a long piece of metal, put a line out where you want it to go, <clears throat> and just take a simple hammer. Move, Lily. <laughs> and this is just a, a snap-on hammer that has the uh, uh, peen, peen in on, I guess you'd call it, cross peen. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hammer down into this divot in the vise and use the vise as my shaping tool. About how wide is the vise right there? About five eighths. Okay. Five eighths, something like that, yeah. And it doesn't matter, I mean, you can go all the way out to here mm -hmm. as long as you're splitting that, you know, difference. Okay. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hammer down on this line to, to build this flange. And then I'll show you how you can take a flange and, and move it around and, and sh shape it with a stretcher. And I'm just tapping down real easy on this line. To get it started. That's, that's just the method you can do with a hammer and a, a vise or a tool to, to, to build a flange. But, you know, if you have a metal break, you can do it that way too. You can put it on the side of your table and clamp it down and bend it over. I mean, there's a million ways to do it. But uh, when I see people using a stretcher, what happens is I put a half inch line. So this is half inch and this is half inch. So you have an inch overall. What I did is I, um, I've, I've seen it in the past. They put the piece of metal all the way into the stretcher so that the jaws are past where it's gonna be uh, stretching. And the, the thing is, is you need to come out like, so like right now, if I was to hit the pedal, you see it's barely moving it, and it's not really doing much to the metal. It's just kind of smashing it is all it's doing because it's, it's grabbing too much of the metal. So this half inch line, so what I'll do is I'll, t I'll take another piece of metal and I, I marked it so I could explain what I'm talking about. So if you drop it in a half inch and then, so this is the, the front of your jaw is right here. And, uh, oh, this one's loose, I gotta tighten it up. <laughs> but anyways, the front of the jaw is right here. You wanna come in a half inch. That's as far as you wanna push that metal in when you go to shrink it. And then now you're really, now you'll really watch that piece of metal move like crazy. And you can, see it you know on camera that you know that's where it's, it needs to be uh, stretching right there and so it's stretching the edge that's on the inside making that yeah and what you're doing is, is, is taking this right here and it's stretching it like this it's rounding it so in in turn it's rounding this piece of metal at the same time and you can see how fast now that it's done properly how fast it, it's stretching that piece and then vice versa, you know, if you put it in the shrinker, it does the same thing. And it, you can go as far as you want until it, it, you know, the metal can't go anymore, so. And that's just, you know, a couple quick swipes and it's stretching this edge right here, which is actually shrinking this edge here. And then now you got like some tucks here that you have to smash out with a, a hammer and dolly, you know, but you can see how fast it'll shape that metal. So what I wanted to show you is if you take a flange and you wanna say, say you have the corner of a hood, say if you're right here, where the hood comes up into the car like this, 
and you want to build that piece, you would take that, that drop it in, that half inch that, it, that I was talking about, instead of all the way inside this uh, tool, and then you're going to start seeing this piece move like crazy. That tends a little more than half inch, but you're not all the way to the back. Yeah, but it's not all the way to the back of the tools. So the what I'm getting at, yeah. Getting it. Wow. It still amazes me. <laughs> I don't know how many things I've watched this one. And then you could do a tight radius, a loose, you know, a, a real. I guess you call it like a loose radius or whatever. But you can see how fast that, that shape, that didn't even take, you know, 30 seconds right there. And then if you flip this panel, now you want the panel to go the opposite way. You can still do the same thing as long as you pull it, put it in there and then pull it out like a half inch so that you know. So see, these, see this line that's right here? That's about your uh, reference line is where you want to go to. You don't want to go past that. So you want it, you want it to be like right there. And then now watch what happens with this panel, or with this uh, flange. About how far do you move it each time you move it? Does that matter, or is that just? No, you wanna, usually you wanna move it over about a, a half inch, three eighths of an inch, something like that. It just really, it depends on how big of a, a stretch or a shrink that you want on a, on a piece. <clears throat> Going a little more yep. And then now you have a compound with a flange. Easy, simple, quick, fast, as long as you use the stretcher the correct way. That's the thing is I keep seeing people using these stretchers and they're sticking them all the way in like that, that piece of metal all the way in as far as it'll go. But you only want to run it in about three eighths to a half inch so that you get that stretch properly. And this is the actual piece that you've used before the wrong way, correct? Right, and you saw earlier when I stuck it in there, it wouldn't move, and now it's moving it a lot. Wow. And don't get your fingers in there. <laughs> See what I mean, how fast that, that starts shaping it now that it's done correctly? But anyways, that was a tech tip. I hope that helped. Appreciate you guys watching my videos and the support and all that good stuff. Hit the bell so you get the notifications and uh, hit the like button. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for all the support. Later.